right, so let's have a little look at this job run today. So we've got a Xiaomi Stuart Turner, 1.5 bar. So we've read the labels on there. We know what that is. We know what we're dealing with. Now, what's the problem? So let's go right behind me. And we're going to go into the bathroom. Power mixer shower. As you can see, it's all turned on. And nothing's coming on, the pump's not kicking in. So what do we need to have a look at? So first off, we're gonna just see whether or not we've got any power going to anything. So you can see we've got power there. So obviously we've got power at the plug as well. So have we got power? Yes. Have we got water? Now, we could take off one of the valves, have a little look, see if there's any water going to it. Well, I know there's water going to it because I've already looked at this one, I've already gone off. Now, the next thing. Let's have a look at the uh, fuse. Where is the fuse? Let's have a little look. Put it somewhere. Well, it doesn't matter. We've swapped over the fuse as well. Put a new fuse in the plug. As you can see, all the little bits are still out. Now, plug that back in. It's on. Nothing's going through. So, we've gone off. And we've got a new pump. So, we spoke to the customer. Customer... Uh, said that this pump was fitted 10 years ago. So is it out of warranty? Right, so as you can see from the book, uh, if you come down here, three years warranty, so we've got three years warranty. So it's not under warranty anymore. So we're gonna just completely swap out the pump. Well, the first thing we need to do, we need to turn off the power supply. Now if we just unplug it, there we go, that's it, isolated. Now we've got to look at the pipe work. Look at these, we've got some nice, lovely lever valves. So we're gonna turn those off, dad going up to the shower, and then your feeds in. This is the good thing about Stuart Turner, look, they've got some valves on them. So we're just gonna turn these off. If we can, I'll probably need a bigger flathead. Let's have a look, see what I've got in my bucket. And we're gonna turn these off. There we go, and I think I just caught of a turn. So I think they're quite easy to turn off. Let's line it up. Come on, come on. We've got it off. Well, it's got some screws down here. So this one's being held. Now so we need to remove those. just to allow any movement as well because this has to have a little bit of movement on it there we go there's the other one that side so that should be free is that free yes there we go it's moving about the next thing we need to do is just disconnect the actual pump itself from the plumbing now i'm going to put down some blue roll so we're going to have that now anyone who's noticed what is wrong with the person who's drilled through? Why shouldn't he have drilled through? What is going on down here? Well, actually these are quite loose. These are Bakelite. Now, there is asbestos in these, but it's more the black bitumen that holds them down is where the majority of the asbestos is. So you don't really want to be drilling down through this stuff. So this gets disconnected. Okay, first that one. Should be a bit more in this one because there's a longer run of pipe on this. Yeah, give that a little shake. Just let some air into the pipe by shaking it. We're gonna get plum tub. So get plum, just stick that in the plum tub a second. Be surprised it's quite a fairly short run of pipe. How much water's in there? Get out. There we go, let me go tip that away. Okay, let's get this side off. I 
That's that now disconnected. Let's move our pot out of the way. Let's get the light out of the way. Put it around here. There we go. Let's move it out of the way. And there we go, ready to put in our new one. Get a quick mop. There we go, right. Let's have a little look inside of the box. Get this out of the way. There's a carving, a bit early for that. So, we've got our new connections. Now you got to check inside of them, make sure the rubbers are in there. So just a rubber connection inside of those. And have a look. Oh, look, this one. There are no valves on these. Now just push fit connections. So what we'll do is we'll keep these ones. And we're going to swap these ones over. To show you how easy these are to swap over. So they're just push fit. John Guest. So... They push for it on. Are they John Guest? Let's have a look. DM. I'm not sure if they are John Guest, but they're very, very similar. So let's have a look. Put these back on. And just push on. Easy as that. Right, so this is the Cheryl Nate by Stuart Turner. Just got these little protective caps. Throw them away. So when you're looking at shower pumps, a lot of the time they've got a directional arrow on them. So you know which way's the inlet, which way's the outlet. And on these, it's on the label. So it says inlet, it's on this side. You got nothing on that side. So that's it, your inlets on those sides. So you've got to work, work out what way around you want it and what way's your inlets. So obviously going into the pump, you just follow that pipe round. That's your hot. Oh look, that's my setup. And obviously your inlet is gonna have your valve on it on this side. Typically, that's what, how you would install them, so that you can shut those off. And then the pumps isolate it; it can't run past. Also, if you do look inside, you can see that you've got a non-return valve in there as well. So that is on the outlet. So I tend to just do these up hand tight, like this, as strong as I can. Then what I'll do is I'll get my grips. I just give them a little tiny nip up. That's it. If you don't believe me, there you go, hand tight only. So I shouldn't have even used the you shouldn't have even used the grips, but make sure you don't avoid the warranty by leaving a load of teeth marks and uh over tightening it because end of the day it's plastic threads, plastic nuts, so don't go over tightening anything. <sighs> I don't know, is that tool cam? Oh, it's tool cam. <laughs> well, let's turn on these. Uh, we need to turn on this one. Like this. There you go, we're all back on. Well, nearly we got to turn these on as well, so. Uh -huh. That's why you was dripping, because you're not engaging, are you? Oh, you, no. Don't get me wrong, right? Gate valves snap all the time, but what are the chances of lever valve snapping in the off position as well? Look, completely bent. Must have been a really shite fitting from, there you go, whoever they are. <laughs> now, I don't have any lever valves, but I do have a full bore isolation valve, which will do for now. Full bore, meaning it's the full bore of the pipe which is what's required as well on a shower, shower pump. You don't want any restrictions. They're gonna cause that pump to burn out, to be having to do too much work to get it through a hole that's far too small. Remember to turn off the isolation down there. Right. 
There we go. Oh, come on. So old olives, always paste those up. There we go. Okay, so let's now we'll turn it on, but let's quickly just say, make sure you haven't got much bend at all on these these have got to be kept as straight as possible um so read the manufacturing instructions with those you are allowed ever so slight um movement on that on that you do get a little bit of allowance but you've got to keep them as straight as possible now to straighten it up you might have to cut back pipe whatever now if they are bent over and you reposition your pipe work and you're soldering it, then you need to take that off and flush out the pipe that you soldered. Now, if you don't flush it through, then you're gonna void your guarantee. Three, two, one. Oh, we need a tool cam for that, didn't we? And uh, let's not forget this one, which hasn't snapped. We like that. Right, so whilst that's pressure testing now, just gonna check the leaks, we're gonna put these screws back in and get that all tightened down right so that looks all okay we tidied up our work area we're gonna plug it in shower is still left on i want to see what happens yeah i just need to purge it through could be a bit there's obviously got to be a bit there in the pipe so put my boot on there i'm gonna go all the way over hot as we can so we're gonna press the button so it's just hot Perch up through, and then we go all the way over to cold. Let that perch through. We we'll just get it somewhere in the middle. I'll leave it on for five minutes. Yeah, that's better with the light on, isn't it? So, put your head on. It's a medium temperature, it's like warm. And we're just going to let that run and make sure that it's not splurting. Well, so as you can hear, the pump is operating now that it's under operating pressure. You need to check it again for leaks. You go around every joint with a dry cloth, and then we can see whether or not we've got anything leaking. So there we go, it's all installed. Just purging it seemed to have sorted it out. So, what do you really need to think about when you're installing? A pump so you need to think about number one what is what pressure do the customer need now if they just want like for like you've got to ask the customer you've got to say look are you happy with the pressure that you had before they might say actually we'd like it to be a little have there to be a little bit more pressure they might even say less pressure I don't know whether they'd ever say that but um, ask customer then you can work out your pressure find out the pressure just by the label the sticker actually on your pump um the other thing you need to think about is is it a positive or a negative head and if you're unsure you can get a universal which will do both applications so positive head you have to have stored water above the pump basically negative you're relying on it picking up that we've lost pressure so we're gonna pump's gonna turn on so the way that that happens is those ones have a small cylinder on top which put a pre-charge in and when it senses, whoop, that charge is gone, we're going to kick in and we're going to pump up. So um, they are basically the two different types. So on this one, it's very close to the cylinder, but it, it has got a head of water above it. Now, easiest way to find out is just to contact Stuart Turner. Just say, look, this is the situation that they, they, they'll... They're really, really helpful if it means sending you a photograph so that you can have a look. And I just realised I've got two of the customers' 
mugs. One when I went off, and one when I came back, so I need to take them in. Um, you can always speak to Stuart Turner, and Stuart Turner's customer service team is probably the best in the shower pump game, and they will help you out, whether that's sending you a um, lot more information than they provide in the box. They will talk you through any faults that you find. They will also help you with choosing your installation method so uh they will you can send them photos that sort of thing uh which i've done in the past are very very helpful but yes stuart turner check them out i think that they i personally this is my personal belief is that they're best for shower pumps uh by by a mile and that's why i partnered with them to bring you this video so if you like this video Give it a thumbs up, give it a share, give it a fucking subscribe, give it a follow. I don't know what I'm putting this out on, but do all of those things and then we covered all bases, yeah? So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you on the next one.